Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2016 Volkswagen Crafter It's a 2 litre TDI 109 medium wheelbase with a high roof van um, Registered uh, middle of 16 um, It's had one previous keeper with 62,000 miles and full service history Okay so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them really beneficial to most people because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here in person. So today as I go around the van, um, we'll look at all the panels individually, we'll look at all the wheels and the tyres individually. Once we've done that, we'll have a look in the back, have a look inside there, um, we'll show you what it looks like in there. Then once we've done that, we'll have a look in the cab uh, and look at the functionality within. Once we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet, have a look under there, and finally, we'll have a look underneath the vehicle, at the chassis, etc. So now, obviously, once you've watched the video, if you think I've missed something or if you want to see something in a little bit more detail, please give me a shout. I'm more than happy to cover anything that I need to for you. At the end of the day, we do offer a transparent buying service. At the end of the day, we want to make sure that you're very happy with what it is you're buying. So once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you do want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. Obviously, in the UK, it's a bit easier. And if you are looking to deliver to a port, please give us a shout and we can go through that with you. Also, if you're looking to finance a vehicle, we'll ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT. An application takes about five minutes and in most cases, we can get you a decision the same day. If you're here on site, you can usually drive it away the same day as well. Right, so I'm gonna start with the bonnet and then we'll work away from there. I will apologize, it is raining at the minute, it only lightly, but it has been doing most of the day. So I'm just taking the opportunity to get it done now. So uh, apologies for the rain. Can't do much about that, unfortunately, in sunny Derbyshire. Right, so on the bonnet, as you can see, it's in great order. There's no nasty marks, scratches, or dints on it at all. Everything looks nice and clean. Driver's side headlights, great, as is the front grille, and also the passenger headlight as well. Let's have a quick look at the front bumper. As you can see, it's in good order. There's no nasty dings or dints on it. It's in nice, straight condition. Onto the front wing is in great condition again there's no nasty marks scratches or dents it is what it is in nice condition windscreen and there's no obvious stone chips or cracks and the front part of there above the what's that called i don't know what it's called above the windscreen uh, the first part of the roof is again also very clean with no damage mirror backs both are in good condition there's a few little marks as you can see you could recall that if you're really bothered, but there's no real damage on the actual mirror. This side is perfect. So let's go down the passenger side. And as you can see, it's in good order. There is a couple of little dents there. I'll just go to them in a second. But overall, I'm sure you'd agree, it's in fantastic condition. So there is a dent there. Massive, but it is there. So, if you look at it in comparison to my finger, as you can see, it's only small. That's only the dint, the only dint I can see on it, rather. Everything else is in good condition, right? So Passenger side front wheel and tail, it's a steel alloy, or a steel wheel, I don't think it's an alloy, steel wheel, uh, with a tyre, lots of tread on the tyre, there's a bit of a guesstimate, I'd say about 10 mil ish Let's have a look at the rear. Again, wheel's in good condition, and again, lots of tread on the tyre, again, I'd say about 10 mil so there is a side sliding door, I don't know if I've opened it or not, I have. So that opens easily and latches without problem as you can see. Inside, that's plastic, no, it's metal sorry. Obviously that will unbolt if you need it to come out. Or if you're looking to maybe make it into like a small motorhome or something like that, because obviously it is quite tall. 
I'm six foot two and I can walk right through without problem. Uh, inside, it smells a bit like wood. Don't know. Maybe it's just. Don't know. Doesn't smell of anything really. It's, as you can see, ply line to the sides. There's the signs of an old bracket there. Nothing on the roof though. Decent quality cable route into the side. Let's go out. Just shut that again. Nice decent action. Doesn't quite shut unless you give it a bit. There you go. Not a lot though. Looks like it's got the uh, lockable extra. It's good. Right, so onto the rear quarter. And again, it's in great condition. The lights are nice and straight, there's no damage. Rear doors. And again, they're in good order. There's no signs of any damage or dents. Everything's nice and clean. Rear step is in good condition. Everything looks nice and straight. There is a this rear marker is a little bit damaged. Obviously, it's not a, a lit up one, it's just a reflector. So it's not like going to affect anything on the MOT or anything like that. So both doors open and pin back. It's a decent size aperture. Lots of space. Everything looks nice and clean. So it's a lockable rear door. So I mean, if you are looking to make it into a motor home, we do sell a lot to people that convert these. Um, obviously you, you're part way there. Yeah, that's shut. It's shut, no problem. They've got a real nice thump to them. So you know, they're a good quality. They're quite heavy. I've just seen a little dint there, which I hadn't noticed before. Just there. You can see it again, it's about the size of my finger. But no, it's in good nick. Right, so on to the pass uh, driver's side rear quarter. Again, the light's in good condition. There's no damage to the pillar. So let's go down this side now. Again, I'm just looking for any marks, any scratches, or any dents, and hopefully, you can appreciate from that it's in good order. There is evidence of where, obviously, some stickers have been on it before. Not, don't stick out so then. It says transserve or something like that. Right, so rear quarter tire, wheels in good nick, no damage on it. And again, lots of tread, about ten mil. So let's have a quick look down this side again. It is very clean. It is very clean. So the door, again, there's no damage. Everything looks good. Onto the driver's side front wing. And again, there's nothing on it to show you. Everything's really nice and clean. Got quite reached to the roof, unfortunately. However, Nothing much up there, obviously. So, driver's side front wheel and tyre wheel's in good condition. There's a bit of a, there's a bit of a screw up on that one. Get a touch up pen, it'll be all right. And front wheel and tyre, tyre, uh, I would say, it's probably about five mil. Right, so let's have a quick look inside. <coughs> Excuse me. So the door card's in good condition, there's no damage. You've got your electric windows on there and also your electric mirror control. There's a padded side arm there for your arm. Driver's seat. Bolsters are nice and firm. We have got a little bit of a rub mark on the seat there. You see it quite a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. However, the material's nice and clean and the bolsters are really nice and firm. So that looks all good. Let me jump in.
so um on this one there are two keys and as you'll notice obviously the locks on the side you have got two keys for that as well let's start it up it is a six speed manual gearbox with reverse decent stereo on it as well and it fires into action straight away as you can see there's no warning lights on the dashboard um, everything's nice and clear everything looks good ticks over nicely no smoke just check again no there's no smoke um, on this one there is your media center with phone um, and obviously you've got your radio and everything else um, nice extras on this one it has got cruise control and it's obviously got um, your steering wheel controls for your phone and things like that in your media center um, it's also got air conditioning not tried it so let's give that a whirl there you go, put that right down crikey that's cold straight away so that's not an issue at all that's freezing actually let's switch that off yes yeah, so that that works fine <laughs> a bit too cold for today a decent size screen on the system um, everything looks nice and clean as you can see the dashboard is smart and tidy we've got cup holder up here and then other little cubby holes and things like that we've got extra cup holder there coin holder so it's obviously got two passenger seats with a centre armrest more cup holders for your pen and obviously desk if you need to use it for anything else seats are really nice and clean um, if I'm being honest I don't think they've been used um, they feel very new you know that feel you get on the bolsters just everything feels quite nice um, it's just got an armrest which is crankable so you can choose where you want it um, headlining is nice and clean there's no damage I can tell you as an ex-smoker it's not been smoked in there's no nasty whiffs it smells neutral to be honest nothing that sticks out about anything cubby holes up there as well visors etc obviously all your lights and everything work no problem at all uh, what else it's got stability control as well ticks over beautifully you can control your, your radio obviously you've got your radio there but you can also by pressing down can search for your radio as well so you've got your on-screen display and whatever else so switch that off um, let's pop the bonnet so we can figure out how to do it must be a catch somewhere there that's it just put the keys there i'll end up putting them in my pocket and walking off with them And the catch right so under the bonnet obviously it's not done a great deal of mine 62,000 it's got full history I actually prefer to see engines in like this um, some of my colleagues don't agree they prefer to see them when they've been clean but I, from my point of view when I'm looking at buying a vehicle I prefer to see it like this because they think you know what you know what you're gonna get there's no nasty oily residue on around the turbo or around the engine just obviously used there's nothing wrong with that quite nice to see that the uh, washer fluid is filled to the top and it's got actual cleaning fluid in it as well so another indication that it's been cared for as you can see it's got decent quality fluid in it and it's to the correct level as well so nothing out of the ordinary to show you at all i mean for me when i look at a vehicle i always look around the turbo just to see if there's any oily residue around it and then obviously I'll look around the block as you can see and there's no nasty oil or anything like that on it and it's in good nick it's got full of street end of the day it's been looked after it doesn't take a genius to figure that out right so let's have a quick look underneath and just notice it's actually got a new pollen filter in it as well so another indication that obviously it's been looked after let's have a quick look underneath and get my camera to behave oops there we go you're looking at me right So again you can see there's no signs of any 
historic oil leaks. Everything looks nice and dry under there in good condition. It's got a spare. There's not a massive amount of tread on it, but there is it's a legal tread. And it's a full-size wheel. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person, maybe a bit more. Um, obviously, if you again, like I said before, you know, if you think I've missed something or if you want to see something in a bit more detail, please give us a shout. I'm more than happy to do it for you, no problem at all. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.